music kind of been eating in 2024 recently. Like, got people who love music having a great time right now. So why don't we switch it up? Why don't we? <laughs> why don't we listen to some bad music? No, it's not bad. Truthfully, I haven't listened to the song yet. But today, I did want to tackle the Camila Cabello. I love it song. Now this song has been getting the heat, dude. You couldn't escape it on Twitter this last week. For one, she released on a Wednesday. Probably smart because Beyonce. But you know, you never know why else. Um, also, randomly a Playboy Cardi feature appeared on this thing. <laughs> no reason why Playboy Cardi is on here. But I'm interested. Maybe the combination will be like a good thing. I will say, historically, I have not personally been a fan of Camila Cabello's like earlier radio kind of centric hits. But I will say, before I listened to this, I dove back into Camilla's discography because she has three albums, I believe. The self-titled, I feel like was probably the strongest when it comes to like commercial success. It had Havana on it and a bunch of like, mostly all of these songs have like over 50 million streams. Like it was very commercially successful. Um, Romance though, as much as I feel like there are some numbers getting put up on here, it's way lower than the, than the median for her first project, but not like too many really standout tracks in here. Like honestly, the Senorita, I guess is kind of the biggest one with 2 billion streams. I'll be real, man. It just doesn't feel like Camilla is putting the, the kind of like time and energy into like the production of her albums. She hits me as very much like a, like I'm a singer, you know, like I, like you come to Camila Cabello for a, a voice type, you know, and she's very, you know, skilled vocally. Uh, she has a style, a distinct style. Some might say it's annoying. Some might say it's weird or whatever. But honestly, I feel like nowadays the weirder kind of vocals that, that I feel like can be stretched beyond the just initial genre of like radio pop, if you will, tend to kind of be more interesting to listen to. I will say though, I'll give her her flowers where she deserves them. Familia, back in 2022, does have some pretty good tracks, like production wise. Like it actually feels like she went out of her way to find a producer and a production style that like feels nuanced. It feels not so cookie cutter. And there's some good tracks on here, man. There's some good tracks. It also was kind of conceptual kind of thing with the whole Spanish vibe to it. When it comes down to it, for me, I'm a production head. I look for interesting production. If Camilo's voice is gonna be able to be flexed and moved in this way, in a, a different kind of fashion, uh, that's gonna achieve a different genre kind of change, um, I wanna see if she does it right, man. I wanna see if she does it right. I know a lot of people are like, oh, she's biting on Charlie XCX, but yeah, yeah, I, I definitely see it a little bit. It, it, it is painful to see with the fonts and the music teasing and the, it's pretty apparent, you know? I want this song to be able to stand on its own. So anyways, I'll stop yapping. Let's listen to this thing. Okay. She does go soprano. Whoa. Okay. Is that a Gucci mean? <laughs> oh man. Oh man, it's really chaotic. Okay, kind of threw me off with, I didn't expect the Jersey kicks to come in. So wait, is she treating the sample like it's a chorus? Diamonds on the chain with the V cuts. It almost also feels like she's she's saying elevate. The pronunciation of I love it and the quickness of it just kind of transforms the the sound. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I kind of do like the ooh. I kind of do like the ooh. <laughs> It's still feeling really timid. Like, I almost want to say that, like, in the chorus, she does kind of achieve that little bit of 
if you want to say hyper pop. The verses itself are too, too straightforward pop for me to truly feel like she's like absorbing what this kind of music is supposed to sound like. It's still feeling like she wants to be like that clean cut pop star. That's just not what this is. This is this is edgy. This is against the grain. This is very like this is like some of the most pop popular underground kind of sounds that you can get now. Like it's becoming way more popular nowadays with Gen Z and everything. But like if you're going to do a song like this, you need to lean so far. The kick and the hi-hats are doing the same pattern. What? I, I, I need an essay. I need to know why. That's just so, that's such an odd choice. <laughs> Rich. Oh, Cardi. Slow down, baby. Oh, you're on the road now. Oh, you're grown now. Oh, you're too grown now. Oh, I like the synth. I like the under harmony with his verse, actually. That was just, that whole pausing section wasted so much momentum, though. Yep. Wait, this is good. This man went humming a humming a humming a humming a humming a humming a check please. Thank you. <laughs> See those synths are kind of cool. <laughs> Supersonic in your orbit, and I am bad. Diabolic. Bottle rocket on the carpet. Threw it back, and he caught it. I go soprano, baby, I go down low, and when he leads, I gotta follow. I'm blacking out, I'm on a spiral, I need you now and tomorrow. Okay, uh, very chaotic in nature. I feel like this is quite reminiscent of a wild night out, if you will. She is Camila Cabello, so yes, she is going soprano, 100%. And she's right, I am blacking out. <laughs> Camilla, it's too high. <laughs> Please, no, not the whistle tone. Her saying like, I, I love it over and over again. It definitely feels like she's in some, some kind of like drug induced, high, you know, alcohol induced like bender. You know, she's like, I love, I love everything so much. I just, I, I, I love everything, you know? Then we get the, the Gucci main. Yeah, that's not great, man. All this Novocaine got you numb to the drugs. Okay, so maybe he's actually coming in as like a clear like a clairvoyant voice for her going through this like wild time. She could turn this around. She, I feel like she could. She just needs to lean way more into, for one, the production, and two, less of like a surface level lyrical story. Like this is very abstract almost, like single line dialogue kind of stuff can only really get you so far, which is why I bring up that I do feel like she is able to make good songs. Like, I don't doubt that if this album does come out and it follows through with the production, it could sound good. I'm going to show you guys a song that I feel, I was talking to my buddy, uh, Adam, shout out Adam, producer named Stecker, artist named Stecker. I was talking to him the other day and he makes hyper pop. Like that's, this, this is his shit, you know? So we, we talk at length about whenever something new in the in the community kind of pops up. I was just going through her discography and I found this song Quiet and I was like, okay, this is like this is actually pretty damn good. It's you, boy. I'm cool like oh. you, boy. The guitar and I heard vocals, boy, interesting. Okay, dude, like I know, I know that it's, it's still very much in that like, you know, clean pop aesthetic, Charlie Puth kind of love kind of, you know, really cemented this like level of production, but man, she slides, bro. This could be tight. So I showed Adam that 
And he was like, oh, well, what if I just remix it into the hyperpop style that she's trying to go for now? Maybe we can like actually find the sauce. And this man delivered. This man absolutely delivered. You're coming over, I started taking Rest cause I was too anxious Too much to take in, years in the making no. Yo, the auto-tune, you hear it? Here's my anticipation No drink I'm making, it's up in the waiting no. Wait! It's your boy I'm cool like you guys are cold till I sleep You boy, think I'm gonna die Adam! Boy, Did you get taller? Your hair is longer. Couple tattoos since I saw you. Looking at you. You see what you but do you see? But do you see what I mean by leaning into it? Oh my god, Adam. Bro, she better hit Adam up, man. I'm not Dude, I'm so and that's the thing too is that I know how chronically online Camila Cabello is. She loves a, a good comment section, okay? She could so easily, so easily, just dive into the like real hyper pop scene and like start talking with like actually like underrated producers. The amount of respect I would actually have for Camila Cabello and her artistry would skyrocket, dude. She could make some fucking bops, dude. If she just dives into this shit, oh my god. I haven't listened to the whole thing. This is a surprise for me too. Hold up. Decker, everybody, can we get a little bit of commotion? Can we get a little bit? Can we actually get a lot of bit of commotion in the chat for my boy Adam? With the unbelievably poignant and well produced remix. <laughs> like, dude, that shit was so good. I'll be real. Adam just consistently blows me away with how, uh, how talented he is. Proving the point. <sighs> Beautifully, if she just leaned into it, man, do I hope that she like takes a turn into a really, really strong album. I would also just love it if she maybe had some design changes. I've seen the stuff that she's kind of copied from Caroline Polachek, and now we're kind of getting a little bit close to the Charlie stuff. I just, I, I would appreciate a, a little bit of like an artistic directive change, but I'm rooting for her, man. I'm rooting for her. I'm not, I'm not hating. I just, I, I want her to make really good album because she has a really unique voice maybe this is a start hopefully